everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is my most recent week of empties. So I think it's from September 10th. My last video was at the 9th, so it was the 10th to the 16th. So Sunday to Saturday. So let's dive into this wax. Here's my basket here, as you saw on the thumbnail. Um, I got a good bit of stuff done this week and some retail. Um, some retail ones I've been working on. I'm going to just empty my basket out. I emptied them out on the wrong side. Just going to move them over here. Oh, today's Sunday. It's Sunday evening here. My least favorite day of the week because tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> All the moans and groans across the world are happening now about, oh, it's Monday. Oh, it's Monday. But it's okay. All right. I had a lot of good wax this week, if I must say so myself. I had a lot of good blends. I got through some vendors that are newer to me and vendors that I haven't really been melting a ton of, but I'm trying to uh, show the love through all my vendors throughout all my collections. So uh, no particular order. Okay. This fun, this is Goose Creek. This is a retail company from um, uh, Kentucky. Uh, what's the name of the city? It's on the back here. Um, Liberty, Liberty, Kentucky. This is a family-owned business. Um, this I briefly talked about um, when I made a an order a few months ago, two, three months ago. I, I don't even remember, honestly, uh, for some wax melts that were on sale. And I used Tuscan Vineyard. This one I've wanted to try for a long time. I thought I had this in a candle, but I, I, I checked my collection. I don't have this in a candle. So I went ahead and bought this because it's really hard to find a good grape blend. Grape is not used enough, in my opinion, and I know grape is sometimes, you know, think about little kids like grape stuff, and, you know, grape soda really isn't all that popular, and grape bubble gum, and all those things, but this, my husband likes grape, too, so if I see a grape blend, I usually buy it. This one I got with him in mind, and this one, it, it's not bad. It is very grapey. It's it's Concord grape to my nose. Concord grape is, you know, the Welch's Concord grape juice, the dark purple grape juice. My personal favorite. I love Concord grape juice. It's my favorite. This kind of smelled like that, but it was a little bit sweeter. So it really wasn't super true to my nose, to the real thing. But, you know, it served its purpose. And I got three melts out of here because I put two in uh, each warmer. I have found that one isn't quite potent enough for me in my open concept. I had this going downstairs. So I used two pieces per warmer. So then on my third melt, of course, I only have one of each. I, you know, blend it with a complimentary blend that will go with grape. So I can't tell you really what I use. I don't remember. But uh, this is, uh, I would buy this one again. Definitely. I have another Goose Creek one I got through. This is Dutch Stroop Waffle. This is one of their most popular ones in candles and in melts. And believe it or not, this is my favorite, um, one of my favorite types of cookies, actually. You know, put it over, you know, do it like they do in Holland and, and you know, in the, in the countries that eat these in Europe. Put them over a warm cup of hot cocoa or hot coffee. Let that caramel that's inside this cookie get ooey and gooey. And then you can dip it down in your coffee or your hot cocoa or, you know, just eat it when it's nice and gooey. So, because they're they're larger they can they are they can fit over the circumference of your mug so this here i bought three of these because i i know that it's a it's so popular and people just you know want it over and over and over again and my honest opinion of this is it's okay okay in that it it does resemble a stroop waffle it does it has the caramel aspect to it but there's something there's something in here I wish it was a little, it, it's a little too sweet to my nose in terms of too sweet caramel. I like a little more salt in my caramel and a little bit more less sweet caramel. That's what I think my brain was looking for because I, I tend to not gravitate to blends that are caramel heavy, but sweet, sickly sweet caramel heavy. Uh, this one... But I like this. This could go, this could blend with everything because it's just a, it's a simple caramel bakery blend. This could go well with coffee, could go well with zucchini bread, cookies, cakes, pumpkin pecan waffles, you know, you name it. You can go crazy with this. I like this. I have one more or two more, one or two more. Can't remember how many of these I've used. Um, I took them downstairs and I think I'm working on the second one. Maybe I, maybe I have one more to do. I don't remember. But 
I would buy this again, but I would, I think I am going forward with the, with the, um, um, what word am I looking for? Uh, with the notion to <laughs> to blend it with something else. That's just what I want to do in my home. So those two retail there and I have, Ooh, that flew out of my hand. I have one more retail here. This is Tuscany candle company. Uh, this is sweet sorbet, which is also known as sugared strawberry. This is from their Valentine line. You know, these in, I know, I, I think Meyer Meyer stores, they're in the East. They don't have them out here where I live. But I know when I lived in Ohio, I used to shop at Meyer, uh, Meyer and Kroger company. Kroger's all over the country. And my part of the woods, it's, it's Smith's, but that's a Kroger company. So there, that's where I find my Tuscany. I have tried their candles. Their candles are very poor performers for me. I've tried different seasons. You know, I've tried their their Halloween ones. They're non-seasonal, just their regular their regular regular signature uh, scents that are offered throughout the year. I've tried um, I said fall, Halloween. I've tried Christmas, and they're just they're just not good for me. However, this wax is a little these melts are a little bit better for me in my home. I, if I'm in, if I'm in Smith's and I'm shopping around and I happen to see a couple of blends I like, they, they do have some blends I like, and then there are some blends that just are not good at all. They don't, I can't smell them. This one here, I found that their Valentine line is a little bit better in terms of performance. This is sugared strawberry. And what I, what I can compare this to is there's an oil out there, sugared strawberry cookies. I think Scoopable Wax Melts, Kathy, uh, has this oil. And then there's a couple other vendors out there that has this oil. I think Candles from the Keeping Room has it. Carol does have it. I actually bought it last time, I um, my last order. So I know she has it. Whether she's going to be making it for her final farewell opening next month, I'm not sure. But if you like sugar strawberry cookies and you are able to purchase from a store that carries Tuscany, Sugared Strawberry Sweet Sorbet. That's what it was called. But I like this. I would buy this again. I have to, I start watching the store and, and you know, even at Christmas time, there's some Valentine stuff that's on that's on the shelves. So I start looking around the holiday time and in it, it early January at the latest because, you know, that stuff gets picked over. The, the Valentine line is popular in my opinion. So that's the only retail ones I have out of this mess. And let's get going into vendor. So no particular order. Sassy girl, my girl, Julie. This is night on the beach. This is her original take on beach nights. This is a warm blend of toasted marshmallow, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores. So the question is asked all the time, what does beach night smell like? And I've tried to explain it a few times, and every time I say it's it's kind of tough to describe. They're not all beach nights are created equal. Absolutely not. There is a vendor of mine that I love, absolutely love L3, and I hate their beach nights. It's way too salty. If you like a salty blend, then you might like L3's beach nights. If you don't like too much salty with the graham crackers and the s'mores and the and the marshmallow, then don't buy L3s. And that's just the oil, that, that's the, the, the oil vendor that they use, and that's just what they, I find that if you're going to try it, you might wanna try it in a blend versus just a straight beach nights. It's very salty, I don't really care for it. In fact, I don't care for it, that's, <laughs> I already said that. Um, I've said this many times on my channel. If you watch me and watch my videos regularly, Julie has the best beach nights in the wax industry, in my opinion. And I know a lot of you out there share the same opinion with me. Um, you can mix, I've said she can mix beach nights with a shoe and it would smell good because her beach nights, she has it custom made for her. I don't know if it's a custom one oil or if it's several oil blend that she puts together, but she has it made for her, her formula. And I love it. This is the original. This is not a, this is not blended with anything. Um, another popular standout is Montego Bay, which is this with Blackberry. And I personally, I really, really like Oath. Oath is, I think, smoked pine cones with beach nights and a couple of other notes. Um, I really like 
uh, Exotic Nights. Exotic Nights is fruity. It has um, tropical fruits with Beach Nights. And then I'm actually really liking a blend called Impresso, Impresso Machine. Uh, it is coffee, blackberry, Beach Nights, some sort of bakery. I'm really, I'm melting that, working on it downstairs in my, in my kitchen area. And I really like that too. So Julie really really has expanded her Beach Nights blends because there's so many of us out there that absolutely love it. Uh, another shout out in the community is Teddy Bees. Teddy Bees has her Beach Treats. That's her take on Beach Nights. Um, I was looking at her master list last night. Uh, um, I'm If you're following along in the, in the Wax YouTube community, there's a tag going around that was the top five vendors and cents. And I'm, you know, like a month late into doing that. When I was tagged back, when I was tagged by the scent of Gemini, I was going through some stuff in my personal life and I did not have the time to sit down and really think about who are my top five vendors and what are my favorite blends of that. It's really, it's really tough. And I'm almost at the tail end of getting, of getting that together. So I hope to film that video this week sometime. So I was looking at Teddy B's master list because, you know, Teddy B's is one of my favorite vendors, naturally. If you watch me, you know that. And I saw that her beach treats actually has a couple of different oils in it that isn't in this version. And I find to my nose, Tiffany's beach nights, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's nice, but it's not like this. It, it's got a little, it's a little, I don't want to quite say saltier, but it's sweet salty. It's sweet, saltier to my nose. And I know there are many of you out there who like hers the best. And that's great. Her her Beach Nights is, is great. It's it's very strong. It takes over a blend if it's not blended very, very well. I have had um, a couple of blends of hers that are her Beach Treats blends. And that's all I smell. I can't really get the other notes that she was trying to, to you know, trying to interpret with her blend. Um, but this... This will always be in my home. I will always purchase this. I have one more brittle of this, actually. I know what this smells like, and I like it, but I tend to grab for the blends that this is blended with, not necessarily the original. But like I said, when I crack into that brittle, and she offers this again, she offers this quite frequently, um, either in loaves or brittles, I'll buy another one because I like to have this. And this is this is perfect. This is a, this is perfect to me. I love this. And it's, it's hard to describe. It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, not bad, a little bit of creamy. You kind of just unfortunately have to smell it. If you haven't smelled it, you just have to, you know, buy a small size of it and smell it and see if it's going to be something that you can handle in your home. And I, I'll say this again, it's kind of like Dr. Pepper. You have to really taste it to really see what it's like. You can't really describe that to somebody. I, I know I can't. It's, it's, <laughs> there's, there's 20 some different flavors in Dr. Pepper and there's a, there's a bunch of flavors in Coca-Cola too. So, um, that is, that's my favorite beach nights. Next, we'll do another sassy girl. This is Sunny Days Ahead. This is a lemon gingerbread lime, not gingerbread lime, man. Lemon gingerbread blend that's a favorite of mine. That's what I wanted to say. This is lemon, graham cracker, nutmeg, spice, vanilla, and gingerbread. I actually um, just reordered this. She had it offered a few pre-orders ago. I have another brittle coming my way. This is a wonderful rich juicy lemon gingerbread gingerbread scent i wouldn't say that it's necessarily too gingerbread or too lemon it's a beautiful marriage of both of those blends together you get the juicy of the lemon you have the creaminess from the the gingerbread you have a little bit of kick from the spice but those are it's like you blend them both both together so you get a little bit of freshness and brightness from the lemon with your rich moist depth of that gingerbread. I like this a lot. I don't know if this is a single oil or if this is a blend of oils, but I really, really like this one too. That is a, that's a good one. Next we have L3. This is a popular blend. This is Night at the Carnival. This was created by Vivian Cordelou. This was a, a customer creation contest winner earlier this year or, or last year. I can't remember. I think it was earlier this year. This is actually being offered right now, if I'm not mistaken, in the pre-order that's open and until the 21st with L3. I don't remember what uh, 
uh, what variety it's in, whether it's scoops or loaves, I don't remember, but I think it's on there. So this is kettle corn, cupcakes at Tiffany's, vanilla butter fudge, and zucchini bread. Uh, this is a dynamite blend. I posted about this this past week when I finished this bag up. It has a, you have to like kettle corn. It's heavy on the kettle corn, but it, it has that creamy bakery right in the background of that vanilla butter fudge which adds that depth and richness and your zucchini bread which adds a little bit of cream just a hint of spice and that nice bready note that bakery cakey bready note of zucchini bread if you like zucchini bread i know there's several of you out there who think it smells like feet and fritos which i'm thank you thank you that i don't get that because <laughs> i love the hell out of zucchini bread this is great i have this in a scoop i actually have two scoops of this i think so two scoops like raisin bran so <laughs> um i will always have this and if you like these notes here i encourage you to give this a try it's a really good one vivian did a good job with that okay next we have this is barrett wax crafts josh barrett uh he's on hiatus right now um work life balance he doesn't have time to commit to his wax unless he's updated his group this past couple of weeks facebook is i don't know about you but facebook has been showing me posts that are a week or two old and then the same post over and over again so you know once again they're playing around with the shit on their side that they're doing and you know we're not getting the full feed experience that we should be getting that's my opinion i've had facebook since 2003 so yeah i'm <laughs> one of the original users back when you needed to have a college email address to be on facebook i'm yeah i'm old i'm dating myself but that's okay uh this is snoozy melts and fluffy towels snoozy melts i'm going to take a sip of water real quick i have to get my lemon water in for the day i love lemon water Snoozy Melts is a very special type of lavender. It's the best type of lavender I've ever smelled, and I bet you would ever smell, too, if you haven't smelled it. And Fluffy Towels, of course, is that little bit of clean laundry. Not too bad. Snoozy Melts is so strong, though, it just dominates the blend. I didn't get too much laundry from this. It's just the relaxing, fantastic, gorgeous lavender. I should have bought a big bag of the snoozy melts. Um, I don't use his stuff very much, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to spread the love throughout my collection. So that's why I, I picked up on this. I bought this a year ago, almost cure into 11, 7, So that was the last time I think he was open. Uh, he opened twice and I ordered both times. And then, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, life is, life's a little too much sometimes. So I understand why Josh is taking care of his himself and his family. And, you know, you do you, and uh, whatever will be here. So that's all I that's all I'll say on that. Um, okay, next we have K's. This is a new blend, a uh, fall blend of hers. K is owned by Carla Meredith from um, I think Missouri. I <laughs> think that's where she is. Um, L three is owned by Jennifer Westing from Junction City, Oregon. A uh, sassy girl is owned by Julie. I want to guess at her last name. I don't want to butcher it though. So. Julie G from Toma, Wisconsin. Uh, Goose Creek is from Liberty, Kentucky. And Tuscany does not have, let's see. Kansas City, Kansas. What do you know? Empire Candle Company. Kansas City. My husband hates the Chiefs. So, boo, Kansas City. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. I'm not kidding. He really does not like the Chiefs, but I don't, I'll support a company from Kansas. I, I don't care. Um, okay. Autumn Crunch. This is a new blend that Carla offered for fall time. This is fantastic. This is apple, uh, excuse me, caramel apple, zucchini bread, and pumpkin peanut brittle. This is great. And I mean that great in caps this is this is so good if you like caramel apple and zucchini bread and peanut brittle mix all those babies together and you have a heck of a fall scent this is so good it it is just i i put this in i found with some of some of carlo's zucchini bread blends i only need one i only need one cube 
because zucchini bread's a strong oil. Sometimes with some of her blends, I need two cubes, and sometimes I need to put her blends in a tea light warmer, especially ones that are a little on the lighter side or ones that are heavy vanilla or super heavy vanilla bakery, I should say. So um, zucchini bread blends and all of her richer, deeper oils, I can get away with putting in my hot plate warmers. So that's what I have downstairs in my open concept, two of my 24 watt warmers. I'm going to be adding another tea light down there for the holidays because I really like to smell holiday blends, fall blends, Christmas blends, Chris, um, hall, winter blends, I should say. I really like that. So I have ordered another tea light I'm going to put downstairs. Hopefully Poppy will leave it alone. She should. Um, I love this. I would buy this again. This, I dare say, I would buy in a loaf, even though I've never bought a loaf from Carla. I've only stuck to the eight ounce cuts. Uh, that's enough for me, really. Uh, this is good if you like caramel apple, zucchini bread, and peanut brittle. Give that one a try. I have another case in here. This is Fall Bounty. This was another new one that she offered uh, when she did her 25% off sale back in July. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and peanut brittle. So we've got a, the same zucchini bread, peanut brittle. The difference is just pumpkin pecan waffles. I have found my, my experience between the both of these is Autumn Crunch was a little bit, I don't want to say better because this is good too. It was a little bit more rich and a little bit more long lasting. This one, because pumpkin pecan waffles is such a heavy, sweet bakery blend, I find that it tends to, to lighten because it does have a lot of vanilla in it to make that waffle part of it. Uh, at, at least in my experience. Pumpkin pecan waffles never lasts all day long for me. It's now if you take the candle from Bath and Body Works, that baby lasts all day long. You know, that's a lingering scent. But some of these some of these vendors have pumpkin pecan waffle oils. And I think every vendor offers pumpkin pecan waffles because it's such a well loved blend by millions of us. I find that this one petered out a little bit, probably an hour and a half before this uh, autumn crunch one did but that being said i would buy this one again because these blends are scents or oils <laughs> you know what i mean they're right up my alley these are sign me up baby i love those okay next what are we gonna do next i finished up for the most part my super tarts fake and bake sampler super tarts is owned by brandy and Brady Williams from Squim, Washington. Squim, Washington. Um, I, let me see if I have all of them. Um, okay. I finished up, I think I have one more, one or maybe two more blends that were part of the Fake and Bake sampler that Brit, uh, Brandy offered or, earlier this year. Fake and Bake. Fake and Bake is one of my favorite, probably... Of all the super tart blends I've had, um, she has Chris Melts pre-order on. Right now, those are her Christmas blends. And there's some really good ones in there, too. But I, I frankly, I don't know if I'm going to participate in it. I just, I have a good bit of super tarts. And I just really need to look at the list and see, are there any that I absolutely can't live without? Uh, when she had a couple of her ready to ships over the summer, I did pick up Savior. I love Savior. Savior is a completely complex blend. It was in her advent calendar, I believe, the first time I purchased it. I didn't purchase a Christmas advent calendar this year from um, Super Tarts. I did last year. It wasn't my favorite. The year before was fantastic. And that's where I found Savior. And um, it is... Gosh, it's, it's, it's a complicated blend. But if you are interested in Savior, it's not bakery. It's it's a fresh blend. Uh, it's it's gorgeous. I bought a couple of clams of that, and I, I do have that. I have Shepherd. Shepherd is another one that I really, really like. And I have one more. I can't remember the name of it. Um, um, Faith. Faith. Faith is uh, a bakery blend. It is the maple latte coffee one. I think that one is really good. And I think all three of those, if I'm not mistaken, are on the Christmas list right now. I apologize that they aren't. I think Savior's on there at least. And there are some other ones there. I mean, Rock X is always a great one. And um, the, the one with Rugelock cookies is, um, what's that one called? Um, oh my goodness. Uh, 
can't remember right now, but <laughs> whatever blend has arugula cookies as an oil <laughs> component of it, that one's good. I can't, the name is escaping me right now. Um, I'll have to look at the list and see if I'm going to be participating. It's a high chance I'm not going to, but you never know. I've bought wax at 3 a.m. before, so we'll see. <laughs> bake and Bake. Bake and Bake is my favorite Super Tarts blend. It's a simple blend, but beautiful. It's zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet cream. And it's rich. It's heavy. It's sexy. It's fattening. It's just everything a bakery blend wants to be. I, in my opinion, I love it. And I know a lot of you guys out there do too. So when she offered her fake and bake sampler and her perfume, I have her perfume and it's phenomenal. I want to wear it every day, but I only bought one bottle. So I tell myself, scale back, Ashley, make it last. So I'm using my other 25 bottles of perfume that I have not just bathing myself in the bacon and bake so oh perfume that's another thing I should do a perfume video but oh don't give me ideas okay this first one so everything is blended with fake and bake you know the zucchini bread sugar cookie and sweet cream this first one was with blackberry jam cookies so those blackberry jam butter cookies that so many of us of us love in my early days of my wax journey you know my vendor wax journey started January 1st, 2021 was the day I placed a an order over $100 with a vendor, and that was Destination Wax. So I did not like blackberry jam butter cookies in the beginning of my journey, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I just had a few blends that really weren't all that, or um, because I have tried other vendors that I no longer participate in purchasing from, uh, and I have, you know, had bad vendors. I've had great, fantastic vendors. And in those days, I didn't have my channel. My channel will turn two, two years old this November. I might do a giveaway or something. I'm thinking about something like that. So, um, you know, just to benefit all of you guys who, who watch my channel and who, you know, put up with my dorky humor and who I, you know, help you with. Uh, blend selections and you know different things in your home. I, I do love all of you and appreciate you and um, We're all on this journey together. So um, Blackberry jam butter cookies Maybe it was just one of the ones I had in the beginning and it was just stinky and I thought no But now I, I like that. I like that oil. I I tend to to find I like Blackberry tends to go naturally floral. I mean, it's a fragrant it's a fragrant oil. It's hard to find a blackberry that is just the true fruit. In my opinion, at least my nose hasn't found one yet. I like the little bit of mixture of that cookie with the blackberry because it takes a little bit of that floral aspect away, at least to my brain it does. And this one here I really liked. What I like with all of these, in fact, is the fake and bake. Brandy made the fake and bake still left the integrity of that there and added in hints of the of the additional oil that she's blending into this. I will say she did this beautifully. I was very happy with the fake and bake sampler. I'll let you know my favorite one, but this one here was excellent. I, I broke this. This was a large cookie and another small shape, I think. So I broke the cookie in half, split that between the warmers in my master bedroom section and the bathroom. And then I put the other little shape and um, I think I broke that in half and put half in, half in one and half in the other. So I had this going all in the bedroom bathroom area. I really liked this one. It was fake and baked with blackberry jam butter cookies. So good. Next, this is fake and bake with strawberry pound cake. Now, brandy strawberry pound cake is rich. It's heavy. It's got nice fruit to it. It's not a dupe for Bath and Body Works. It's made for her. I know it is because it does not smell. I just got, well, I got two bags of super, uh, super Tarts Big Bams of their of her strawberry pound cake when she did that pre-order. I didn't do a video for it because I'm not going to do a two-minute video for two bags. So I have that here. And smelling it, it is it is a custom-made strawberry pound cake. Just like, you know, Teddy Bees makes has a version of her own. And L3's strawberry pound cake is custom-made for her, too. It's not, a, it's not the dupe oil from Bath & Body Works. This I liked. I tend not to really gravitate towards a lot of strawberry pound cake blends because I find strawberry pound cake very light. I want more. 
you know, I'm a knocky in the face sometimes type of scent person. I want more from Strawberry Pound Cake. And unfortunately, Bath and Body Works version is just, it's, it's not enough for me. It's bland in my opinion. And I know, I know, I'm in the minority with that. But once you smell a custom-made oil, compare it side by side to the Bath and Body Works dupe, I think you'll see where I'm coming from. As somebody who really likes to smell the blends that I'm melting, that's why I gravitate towards vendors in the strawberry pound cake department that have their own oils custom made. I hope that makes sense. I liked this. It blended beautifully with the fake and bake, beautifully. Next one, this is Cotton Candy Buttercream Fake and Bake. This one was basically just fake and bake to me. I had a really hard time picking out any cotton candy necessarily. Uh, fake and Bake isn't, it, it's sweet, but it has a richness and creaminess to it. I couldn't really identify the cotton candy. So this one was just basically fake and bake to me. And I'm not complaining because I love fake and bake. Uh, this next one is Pink Sugar. And believe it or not, this one was my favorite. I loved this one. This, it was so good. It, it was fake and bake with a little extra in, you know, pink sugar is a perfume and it can be very sweet and perfumey in some blends that it's blended with. But I find that when it's blended with zucchini bread or pie crust or any sort of pound cake or any sort of dense bakery, it just it just takes on a different identity. And that's what it did with the fake and bake. I love this. I would buy this again. If she offered this, I would buy this because it is really, really, really good. And the last one I used is almond marzipan marshmallow fluff with fake and bake. This, of course, almond marzipan go hand in hand. I love me some almond. This was nice too. I had this going in my office and it was a nice almond kick with the fake and bake. So that's my fake and bake sample. I have one more, like I said up there. I think it's the lavender. I think it's the lavender one I have left. I might have one more in my sample storage. I might, but I think I just have the lavender one left. But the pink sugar was primo. Primo. Okay. Let's talk about Dessa. This is this is fall foliage. I realized this was in my last week's video, and I realized I got into explaining about the different sizes and shapes of her of her uh, wax selection, and I did not did not talk about <laughs> fall foliage. I just you know squirrel. So fall foliage. This was actually on the pre order that Dessa had at the beginning of the month. If you grab this one, I think you'll like it if you like a fresh blend. This is leaves, dew drops, crackling firewood, and fresh air. This is like those early days of fall after, you know, we're at the, we're at the tail end of summer. I think the first day of fall is next week, actually. I think it might be next Thursday, 20, 21st, 23rd, somewhere around there. I think it's coming. But the first few days of early fall, when it's cool in the morning, but it's also cool at night, and you need a jacket. Right now, we can still get away from, at least here where I live in Utah, excuse me, we can still get away with not wearing a coat yet, or a jacket, or a long sleeve. I can, at least. It hasn't really went, you know... It's not cool during the days. It's cooler at night, but it's it's refreshing. It's nice. It's not frigid. So the first few days of fall, when it starts to be, I have to put a long sleeve shirt on today kind of a thing like that. You know what I mean? This is perfect for that because it, this is, you know how sometimes fall, you could have a lot of rain in the fall, you know, ushering in that, that winter, that winter loves to come early, <laughs> it seems like. I find that this reminds me of a rainy fall day where it's cool, but it's not completely wintered like yet. Um, this could be going when you have a fire going or, you know, playing football in the yard, if, you know, if, or if it's raining outside, curl up with a book, which is what I like to do. And um, this is leaves, Bath and Body Works, I believe. It's a little bit of fresh with the fresh air and the dew drops, and you have a little bit, a hint of smoke from that firewood, that crackling firewood. So this is, this is nice. I like this. I didn't pick this up again because I hadn't quite finished this one yet. So I typically like, unless I, how I do with Dessa 
is, you know, some of her blends, her staples, and the ones that are her most popular, you know, basically come back about every time or every other time. I'm talking like her fresh bread and jam or her sweet macerated strawberries or even some of her coffees, her beignets, her zucchini breads, Jerusalem zucchini breads, her strawberries, stuff like that. Um, I feel okay if I don't buy it in one of her pre-orders. I'm okay skipping it. But typically, if it's, a, if it's a blend that's seasonal, I like to melt through my the whole size that I have first before I determine if I'm going to repurchase that. So that's why I didn't buy fall foliage again this past pre-order. I did get a lot of new to me blends though. I did get, yes, I did get some that I've had before, but I really tried. She had a, pheno a phenomenal, I almost said phenomatastic. That's what I was thinking. Fantastic, phenomenal. She had a really phenomenal list this past pre-order. So if you did participate in that, you're in for a treat. She had a really good selection of new blends. Uh, and I'm excited for the gingerbreads I have coming to me and all of those yummy things. So um, that will be shipping out in October, I think, or the beginning of November. Um, so that's fall foliage. So I do apologize for not talking about that one last week. Uh, it's in this basket. So next one. Okay, this is an empty bag, but this one was L3's Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. This was a custom uh, size, so the bakery bags, the white bakery craft bags that Jen and Trish use for their wax customs. Uh, they're in Europe right now. Um, they're, uh, they're leaving Paris and going to Rome next. We would like to go to Europe one day. We'll make it there. Just don't know when. I'm stretching out my legs here. So this is Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. This is a creamy coffee, but I love it. I love it so much. And it's great blended with bakery. It's great blended with, you can even put fruit with it. I love blueberry and coffee together, personally. And you could, you know, play with it and experiment. I know that this has a really popular following. It's poured frequently. If you haven't had a chance yet to try it, try it. I know Tam says that it's creamy coffee, and it is. It's creamy coffee. And um, Cuban coffee is coffee in brown sugar, so it's already sweetened up. And then you have spiced oat milk, which is that oaty note from oat milk, if you ever had oat milk, with a little bit of sprinkling of those spices on top. It's not spicy, but it's got a little bit there to offset that, like you're putting your nose in a bowl of oatmeal kind of a thing. I love this. I wanted to finish this up because I'm working on another one of my customs from last year, Daddy's Farm. I've talked about Daddy's Farm in my um, wax goals video. So next blend. I didn't do a lot of L3 last time, but I do have a couple of ones here. Speaking of Cafe Cubano, this is Cafe Cubano spiced oat milk blended with Palo Santo and zucchini bread. I liked this, although I, I felt that the mixture of the zucchini bread and the Palo Santo, it kind of took away from the beauty of the Cafe Cubano spiced oat milk. I love, and it's, it's hard for me to say because, you know, I love my zucchini bread blends. And I don't think I've had a negative review of any zucchini bread blend out there because I absolutely adore zucchini bread. And I think L3 has one of the best zucchini bread oils out there. So she knows how to blend her zucchini bread. I don't know if it was just the ratios that she used with this one, but this one was kind of, I thought this would be, a, you know, a winner in my book. And this one was just an okay one for me. But if you don't really, if you're not really in love with Cafe Cubano Spice Oat Milk, but you really like your Palo Santo and you like your zucchini bread and you like all of those mixed together, next time this one's poured, give it a try. You know, I grabbed this. This was a bougie bar. I love her bougie bars. Uh, I grab this and I would maybe try this in a scoop because I find that the scoops can be a little bit more potent in terms of being able to smell all the different notes. I sometimes struggle with the harder wax being able to say, oh yeah, I can smell that. I can't smell that so much kind of a thing. I know that's just how my brain works, but I think I would try this again in a scoop, but I'm just perfectly happy with the Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk because that's another primo coffee blend to me, primo. This next one is Today is October 3rd, Caramel Apple. Today is October 3rd is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Marshmallow. One of L3's best blends, most popular blends. You can blend it with anything type of blend. Um, caramel Apple, I love Caramel Apple. I prefer it over any type of apple, really. 
It's yummy with bakery. It's yummy with other fruits. It's yummy with coffee. It's just great. This one here, I liked this. It was a beautiful balance of caramel apple and today is October 3rd. So one didn't overtake the other, which I like because sometimes today is October 3rd can be all you smell because to my nose, um, the sugar cookie Royale is the strongest part of October of, of today is October 3rd. You do have the richness and creaminess of the Palo Santo and a little bit of the marshmallow, but the sugar cookie Royale to me is most dominant. So I liked that the caramel apple was still there excuse me, the caramel apple was still there. And then you have your sugar cookie component of the today is October 3rd. I liked that blend. This was actually a request of mine. This was a matrix melt um, and they picked this one to pour. So I had to grab it. I liked that one. That would be good in a scoop too. I, I love scoops. If you haven't tried scoops, my opinion is you're missing out on a lot of scent payload, you know, payoff, I should say not payload, but you know what I mean. A scent payoff and you know do you scoop a little bit out put it in your warmer you get a, a an immediate throw and you know it, it lasts a long time so and they're easy to store they're easy to scoop I love scoops I try to tell everybody about them if you haven't tried a scoop give it a try you know how do you know unless you try so next one I have this was another request of mine this is season of the witch and Fuji apple Season of the Witch and Fuji Apple. Season of the Witch, I think on the pre-order right now, that's on until the 21st, I think there's a Season of the Witch, either a sampler or there's something Season of the Witch on there. I did not purchase from the previous pre-order and I'm not sure if I'm going to make a purchase from this pre-order. Um, I have a lot of L3 and I need, and I, and even though, you know, you guys know how much I melt L3, I still need to put a dent into my, into my, um, collection of L3. So um, it, it, it's very hard for me, guys, because the last two pre-orders has been nothing but fall. And I love fall. I mean, you know my fall collection. I did a video last fall of my entire vendor collection for fall, and it's huge. And <laughs> I really need to, to make a dent in it. So I really haven't been buying like crazy fall blends. And don't get me wrong, I have participated in pre-orders like crazy this past week. But really, I've been, I've been buying a lot of different types of blends. Not even bakery types of blends. Like Swanky uh, was zero bakery. Zero bakery, except she did have espresso cream cake, which that's coffee. So I had to get her coffee. But other than that, it's nothing bakery. So I'm getting blends that aren't necessarily seasonal. They're different. And um, then of course, Teddy Bees, you know, that's another story. Teddy Bees, it's a different world. And then Dessa was primarily holiday and that type of stuff. But um, yeah, I think you know what I mean. So Season of the Witch, Fuji Apple. Season of the Witch is apples and leaves, Bath and Body Works type. And I love leaves. And Season of the Witch, is one of their most popular, if not most popular, fall blend. And it's beautiful blended with everything. I love Fuji Apple. Christy Hartshorn does also. It's, to my nose, if you have smelled Rose Girl's Bodacious Bowser, the apple part of that, to my nose, smells like Fuji Apple. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the way it is or not, but to me, that's what it smells like. So if you've had that, you would probably like Fuji Apple. Fuji Apple isn't like any other apple you've smelled. It's got a, it's got a little bit of something different to it. But I liked, and I, I actually even think this one, I think this blend in particular is on the pre-order uh, somewhere, I think. Like I said, I don't have the list memorized this time. So try this one. You can't go wrong if you like Season of the Witch and Apples. That's just, that's just gorgeous. I have one more L3 here and I have a couple more scents and then we're done with this video here. This is Freak Show L3. This was a little sample. This is Circus Concessions and Cotton Candy Craze. Cotton Candy Craze, I think, is all of the cotton candy oils that she has blended into one or some sort of superb cotton candy blend. And Circus Concession is, of course, your candy apple, your funnel cake, your... Um, kettle corn, that circus carnival oil that a lot of vendors have. I like Freak Show. The addition of that extra cotton candy in there really makes it feel like you're at a fair. We went to the fair on Friday, the state fair on Friday. I did get my kebab. I got my corn dog. 
I got my lemonade. Didn't have any desserts, didn't have a funnel cake this year. But we did ride the Ferris wheel and we rode this ride, this bobsled ride that goes in a circle and you know, you get crushed with your partner and, and just screaming like crazy. I, I usually don't ride carnival rides, but um, the amusement park here in Utah is way overpriced and I refuse to go to it. So I told my husband, I've got to ride at least one ride a summer. So other than the Ferris wheel, let's go ahead and go on this one. So we did. My mom went with us. She had a great time. She had a few beers. She was happy. And <laughs> uh, we, it, I like the Utah State Fair. It's a nice fair. So freak show, cotton candy, funnel cakes, all that stuff is really authentic to the to this concession circus or carnival experience, in my opinion. So this next one, this is a newer to me vendor. This is Lavender and Speckles. This actually was from, um, I did a video this past week. The two, um, Lavender and Speckles is owned by Beth Wilson from Alabama, Rogersville, Alabama. And I got two samplers, the Palo Santo sampler and the pretzel sampler. Pretzel one is fantastic. I love it. I'm letting most of the ones cure, but this one, I, I melted one blend of the Palo and one blend of the pretzel. I haven't finished the pretzel one yet. Maybe I did two of the pretzel. I can't remember. Uh, this one is sweet vanilla berry Palo. This is warm vanilla sugar, Bath and Body Works type. Strawberry pound cake and Palo Santo. I don't know if Beth's strawberry pound cake is custom made for her or if it's a dupe oil for Bath and Body Works type. I, I'm not sure. But this one here to me, it was okay. Um, I, I think after about two hours of this one going, it got kind of weird smelling to me. It got a little bit cough syrupy. And I don't know what it was because in the bag, it smells great. You can smell the uh, strawberry pound cake. You can smell the warm vanilla sugar. I love warm vanilla sugar. It's so good. So I don't know exactly what happened, but you know, probably on a chemical level or something, it just got weird to my nose. I would try, I would try this again. This is only three pieces. So really when I'm really testing out a blend and when I have a questionable blend, like Am I smelling what I think I'm smelling or I want my husband to be able to smell it too? I like to put it all throughout my home because I want to test it in the environment up here upstairs. I want to test it in the open concept downstairs. I really want to see how does it perform throughout my home. Maybe am I smelling something weird that day or you know what? So that's, I, I, I would want to try this again to have a little bit more more quantity of this blend so I could put it throughout my home and really see was it just me that day because I put this there were three pieces in here and I put it all upstairs I had one going in my tea light warmer in my guest bathroom and I put the other two pieces in my master bed and bath so like I said I only had it in that one area and I maybe maybe my 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 nose was off that day or something. I don't know. But it wasn't until about three hours in. So it wasn't right off the bat. And you know, I've heard some of you say that with some blends out there, it gets it gets weird after a period of time. And I've had that too. But being that this vendor is new to me, you know, I, I don't want to say, um, no, I don't want to try anymore. But I want to I want to give it a chance. And that's why I wanted to be honest and say what I got from this. But I also will give another chance buy a bigger quantity and then really see is this for me or not for me kind of a thing so that's lavender and speckles this one here is fisher candle and soap company from fair chance pennsylvania owned by Brittany fisher this is the hometown vendor to me back where i'm from in pennsylvania i'm not from fair chance but i'm from the neighboring town uh, this is just zucchini bread. This is Farmer John's fresh baked zucchini bread. This is this is very similar to L3's zucchini bread. This is a little bit spicier. It's not spicy, but it's a little bit has a little bit more spice complex to it. This was just zucchini bread. I liked that one. Next is Second and Spruce. Second and Spruce is owned by Erica Kane from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I told Erica that next time I go back to visit my family in southwestern Pennsylvania, I'm about, an, I'm about an hour away from where she is, I would like to go meet her. And she said, of course, I would love to meet you. Fantastic kind of a thing. So it's possible that I'm going to be going back at the end of October 
you know, I, there are some things that I need to do back there in, in, in uh, regards to the passing of my aunt. Um, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go. I haven't, I need to look at, I need to look at airfare and I, you know, airline companies increase their airfares up for the holidays. And if it's just too expensive at the end of October, I'm going to wait to go in the springtime. So I might be going, I might be going back. I'm not, I'm not sure. The reason I say that is because second and spruce is quickly rising the charts for me in terms of favorite vendor. Uh, her wax is soft and creamy, like Teddy Bee's Glitterati. Um, it cuts like butter. You can break it with your fingers. You don't even need to have a chopper, uh, especially if you if you have these breakaway bars. I don't remember what she calls these ones here. Snap bars, maybe. This was Latte Da. Latte Da. This is espresso, brown sugar, pecans, and pound cake with zucchini bread. Oh my God is this good. This is so stinking good. And I knew this was good. I bought two of the mini loaves for Erica's pre-order that she had. Um, when does she have the beginning of this month? I am excited to have this again in my home. This is incredible. I love this. Love this. You have coffee, you have pecans, you have zucchini bread, pound cake. It's bakery coffee heaven. Erica is phenomenal at blending coffee. My favorite coffee blenders out there are L3, Erica, uh, Swanky, uh, Jeannie, and Sassy Girl, Jolie. Those are my favorite coffee blenders. This is good. I know that... Uh, Second and Spruce is a little hard to get. You know, she's new. She's been in business less than a year or, you know, maybe right, maybe right around a year. Uh, but just, you know, get on her Facebook group page if you haven't. She'll, she's going to be doing, I think, a Christmas sampler. She's working on the pre-order right now. And she'll be shipping those out, I think, in October sometime. I think. I don't remember. Um, so, yeah. Uh, just get in her group and uh, just check it out and order when you can. This last one is Swanky. Speaking of Swanky, uh, Jeannie Jeffrey from Silverdale, Washington. This was a sample that I got with my most recent order. You know, I did my Swanky haul order earlier this week. This was one of the sample, the one of the samples I got. This is vintage vanilla, vanilla musk, warm cocoa butter, and solar ylang. I'm not quite sure what solar ylang is, but if I had to guess, it's some sort of flower. This is not a blend I would have bought, but this was gorgeous. This is beautiful. It's not strong, but it's there. And I don't, I wouldn't buy this. Like I said, you know, I don't really go for vanilla scents. This is vanilla, vintage vanilla, vanilla musk, cocoa butter. This would be, this is very sensual. So I put this in my bathroom upstairs and I went downstairs for several hours and I came back upstairs and sorry, I, I have to stretch my leg out here sitting on the ground with my legs crossed for a while. Sometimes, you know, if you do it when you're getting older, your um, body doesn't like it. You know, we could sit for hours as a kid with our legs crossed and not think anything of it, but I can't do that anymore. My, my leg starts to fall asleep. So I came upstairs and I had this going and I thought, my God, does that smell good? That's so, I forgot what I had in for a minute. And I said, wait a minute, that's that swanky vanilla blend. So I ran over here into this room where I am with my basket because I already put my, my empty um, bag in here. And I looked at the notes and I said, this is gorgeous. I don't know what vintage vanilla is vanilla musk it and I can't even describe it guys it's just a beautiful sensual fragrance and I loved it I would buy this again I really would buy this again and that's and that's a lot that's a lot for me to say that because I don't go for vanilla scents and I don't really I, I like sensual blends but I tend to want ones that have a little bit more heftiness to it than just vanilla with vanilla musk and you know whatever else is in here that's a lot. And that goes back to the blender and how they blend it and how they know what they're doing. So Jeannie is an immaculate blender, especially with her sensual blends, her tea blends, her perfumes and her coffee in my experience. So, and in my opinion. So that's this week's empties. 
I will get cooking on this next week's uh, empties. And if I have enough to do one next weekend, I will. If not, then I'll do one the following week. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you have a great week ahead. I hope you had a fun weekend. Uh, happy fall. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon.